Hey guys, Jen here. So before I go any further with anything, I want to set the scene for a few things. And I want to say also, just because I talk about things doesn't mean that that's all I believe in. You can believe in more than one thing. One thing and another thing aren't always mutually exclusive of each other. Oftentimes we are dealing with elements of a variety of topics that are in the same wheelhouse or the same, um, oh, I don't even know, concept, we'll say, but I, I like wheelhouse. Okay, so we'll start here. I believe that anything could exist. Even on planet Earth here, we've seen a variety of different creatures come and go and be discovered every day. We are not overpopulated or we would not have places like golf courses, cemeteries, national, federal land, parks, conservatories. These things would not be in existence if we were so overpopulated. They just cram a lot of people into a small area, uh, into the cities. We are densely populated. But that works with what they want to show people. And that is how illusions operate. They show you a picture of what they want you to see. And then they put a certain heading on it. And most people believe what they are told or what they are shown. And then if you try to use a word like brainwash, people are automatically on the defensive and insulted. So they dismiss any information that you try to present them with after that fact. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to say that I believe it's possible God can create anything, but I'm going to say that what we are dealing with, and in my experience, we're dealing with our own people. You see, man has to have a villain. He has to have someone that we can blame so that in the vein of the Hegelian dialect, they present us with a problem, they present the chaos, and then they also present the solution for that problem that they created in the first place. Circular reasoning, the Aurora Boris, the snake eating its own tail. They manage society this way and they've done it for millennia. I probably won't change that. Maybe you won't change that. But together, maybe we can because just so, because something has always been that way, it doesn't mean it should stay that way. Just because you should or just because you can doesn't mean you should. I believe what we are dealing with is a whole lot of psyops on the American people, and I believe that it is coming from the military-industrial complex and its subsidiaries and tentacles of the Kraken in the forms of uh, organizations like DARPA and Alphabet Soup Gangs. And I believe that this is where it started, or at least this is the trail that, that we are allowed to see. Operation Paperclip was a secret United States intelligence program in which more than 1,600 German scientists, engineers, and technicians were taken from the former Nazi Germany to the U.S. for government employment after the end of World War II in Europe between 1945 and 1959. Some of them were former leaders of the Nazi party and understand they were all pardoned for crimes against humanity. They were given... Um, I don't know if it's outright amnesty, but they were given leniency over here in the United States to escape um, punishment for war crimes. And they were highly interested in the experimentation upon people and very interested in twins. And it would behoove you, this is why I go over etymology so much, the study of a history of a word. Clone means the same thing as twin. When they say people are lizard-brained, it harkens back to the caveman eras when they say that humanity, when people before something tinkered with our DNA, that something very well stemmed from God, I believe. And I don't believe you have to believe in just science or just God. I believe real science is the footprint of a creator of intelligent design. I don't have to believe anything. There's always a choice here. And I have dug and dug and dug for truth. 
I'm not saying God can't create anything. I'm saying what we're dealing with is a very organized, micromanaged plan because it's been around me my entire life, and they've carried it out against me. I was never taken aboard a spaceship. All of the hazy twilight moments in my life, the missing time, took place around the same group of people and within my own home. After I drank or ate in my own home. After I was handed a drink or given a drink from someone in my own circle. And I believe it's sensory overload. I did a recent video about this, about how certain things can be used in your own environment against you to make you think that something is taking place that isn't taking place. Unless you see an actual UFO land and something come out of a ship that you can touch and interact with. And even then... You see, because a lot of us now, we've grown up with CGI. We can't easily be fooled. And the only time we can be fooled is when our senses are overstimulated. You see, because I heard something in the sky with my son when all this was beginning, but we didn't see anything at the same time. You see, I saw beings kind of manipulate my free will, but it was when I was in a twilight state. And this is why I've been so open about my past and my history and my sin. And I will get into that at a later time. But I've had surgeries and medical procedures. Where I've been put under twilight. And I know what it feels like. And looks like and tastes like. I know when I've been drugged. I'm telling you. That the biggest con ever. Is being per perpetrated. Against us. And at this point there are more people in on it. Than not. Because they don't want it to be them in the end. Because everybody sold out for their Happy Meal toys. And ask yourself why certain celebrities like Kanye are being shown with their faces covered. That's really convenient. And it's convenient we live in a digital age when you can post up a video that's two years old, but people don't have to know that. It can even stay live and it's not actually live. Man, I wish other people would get hip to some of this. They are playing on the fact that people aren't educating themselves. They want people telling stories about lizard people so that everything else that comes out of their mouth is disregarded. When they say we have this lizard brain, it harkens back to evolution. It is a psychology term. Now, I'm not saying things like that can't exist. I don't know what God has created. But I'm saying what's happening now and what's happening to most people is not a good thing and their free will is being manipulated when they are in a drug induced stupor and their senses can be manipulated. How many of these stories do people have when they're stone cold sober? And if they are stone cold sober, it's always somebody who is a, a part of a subsidiary or a direct part of the military industrial complex. It's always an air force member. It's always a pilot. It's a cop. And we've been taught to respect those authorities because they have a uniform on. Because in the past, they always were supposed to be leaders and, and moral um, role models. Start thinking, start asking questions. I'm going to do smaller videos like this and smaller snippets because I don't want to be bringing too much information at once. But start investigating things and educate yourself with knowledge because they are trying. And once this is over, they will whitewash all of this. They will get rid of all of this digital information. Why do you think our ancestors put things in stone? Much love, Marsoon. Bye.